Hello, I'm FKX Toy Cat, and Minecraft is a gaming icon. I'm sure we can all agree on that, and even if we can't, you do have to admit it is the best-selling game of all time, having sold more copies in the last 10 years alone than any other game has sold in their entire lifetime. It's a really shocking statistic, but what makes it even more shocking is the fact that a lot of people picture Minecraft Java Edition when they picture Minecraft, but the truth is over 100 million of those sales were for Minecraft Bedrock, or just Minecraft as it's known in the game itself. It started life as Minecraft Pocket Edition, it used to just be an offshoot of the game, and because of the fact that it was just kind of a spin-off all those years back, we can see the trailer for this game, which is hilariously bad. It's seven years old, and it's something that's been recommended a bunch on YouTube, so I wanted to show it to you all, because you won't believe that this is the trailer for a game that eventually went on to sell all of those copies. So I'm going to magically now insert myself into the trailer, as you can see I'm on it right now, but now I exist inside the trailer, and we're going to watch it together, because again, you have to see this to believe it. These are your thumbs. Well, I mean, those are that guy's thumbs, right? They now have a greater purpose. Oh, just quickly, this menu screen, can we all just quickly have a throwback moment to like, remember when Minecraft Pocketition used to look like that? Like, people complain about menus these days, but that was just three buttons and like, yeah, press one, that's all the screen is, all the menu existed as. There's no background, it's just dirt stuff. It's, it's, it's cool to see how much Minecraft, uh, you know, has evolved since then, obviously. <laughs> This trailer, by the way, seriously does say, no matter where you are, you can play this game. And then it has a guy on a toilet. Like, they're literally saying, this is a version of Minecraft we developed so you can play it on the toilet. That is an absurd thing to have an official trailer, but it is a real thing. It was developed by Heart Films. But still, they looked at this trailer like, yeah, tell people they can play Minecraft on the toilet. If they if they don't know they can play on the toilet, will they want to buy it? I think not. But yeah, this is a real significant part of the trailer. It's 47 seconds, and they spend a solid 15 being like, you can play it on the toilet though. Look at this. You don't even need to take off your trousers. You can just go in there. It doesn't matter if you uh, want to take a seat or if you intend to excrete. You can play Minecraft through any of that. That, that should have been their slogan really. Also, just a small thing here, but you can look at that toilet roll and it doesn't like, it's it's kind of uncomfortable. It looks like they've unrolled it and then re-rolled it. Do you see that gap there? Uh, but you know, we have to give them points because they're hanging it on the right side at least. But anyway, yeah, let's keep going into the trailer. You can always craft. <laughs> that loading screen was like a significant portion of the trailer there. I'd like to point out none of that was crafting. That was loading in a world, that was breaking a tree, that was using the creative inventory. Like I guess crafting in the sense that you're crafting an object, I, I maybe you could argue. But he did some mining that, you know, whatever, let's just, let's keep watching. It's clearly there are important details coming up. Minecraft Pocket Edition, now available on Android, or like if I go this way, now available on Android. That was the entire trailer, and this trailer, uh, I'll show you on screen right now, has 48.6 million views, which is absurd to me. Like, this is a lot of people's, you know, first, and maybe only, uh, you know, exposure to the game. Obviously, a lot of that was years ago, but it's being recommended more and more these days. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, let's check out this version of the game. By the way, Minecraft Pocket Edition doesn't exist. It's just called Minecraft now. That's crazy to me that, like, this was, this was a real trailer, and uh, it's not just a real trailer, it's a popular real trailer. But then, a couple years later, they decided, oh yeah, this isn't the most professional thing in the world, and they decided to redo it. So let's check out Minecraft Pocket Edition new trailer. So, uh, this one has less views, but still, millions of views, or fewer views, because it's countable. Uh, let's check out the second trailer, the one they decided to upload, because the last one wasn't really, you know, as professional as they'd perhaps like. Again, this game sold 100 million copies, keep that in mind as we watch the Mojang logo fade into view. The, the hotbar's gone bigger now, by the way. Can you see how, like, now it's got five slots on there? It's playing cat as well, which is great. Oh, it has, it has crafting in there. See, craft and build, not craft and craft. I want to quickly point out that's what this is. Man, I'm getting, like, some nostalgia, like. <laughs> hey, he's got friends with him. Can I, can I really quickly point out though, 
that one, I mean, it looks like his friend is punching nothing, and two, both his friends are gathering sand, he's got a stone shovel, plus he had that wooden one from earlier, that he's not giving to them. He's invited some friends over, and he's like, oh, I only have a sword, I'll just watch you guys while you punch it with your fist. I'm just saying, looks suspiciously like, you know, like he's just, he's up here in his ivory tower doing his communist dictator thing, and they're just standing down there doing nothing. Just seems a little bit unfair, not perfect delegation of duties is what I'm saying there. But yeah, you can play together. Because Minecraft Pork Edition has always had multiplayer, which I've always found shocking. Good shot, by the way. You can even explore and discover and maybe find diamonds. By the way, exploring was a really, is a really like, uh, I would say, exaggerated term here. The worlds were 256 by 256 until very recently, like until 2014, 2015, I want to say. Uh, and that meant that back then, explore meant, oh yeah, go underground. That's the only place that you can't see immediately when you spawn. Like, uh, it's it's crazy, but that's a real thing. Also, this guy has just picked up a diamond. He still doesn't have an iron pickaxe or anything. Like, this guy literally invited friends into his world, and they're like, oh yeah, you guys can follow me around while I do stuff. You know, it's for a trailer, but it still shows. He's not a very nice person. But anyway, let's um, let's now point out the fact that, like, yeah, so Minecraft, after, like, the 2013 days, I would say, if we're being realistic, like, after the Microsoft days, they started really upping the production value for trailers, so a lot of their newer trailers don't look quite as messy as this one. But I do want to show off one of their first trailers that I think was good and that might be your first trailer to the game as well. This was the first trailer I watched for the game. It came out for the same... So, so bear in mind, this 2011 trailer, this one where they're like, hey, you know this game that you can play on the toilet... That's right, you can play Minecraft Pocket Edition on the toilet, which is still true for Minecraft uh, Bedrock to this day. Like, whip out your phone, play it on the toilet, will work just fine. Uh, again, take a seat and maybe excrete is uh, the new Minecraft slogan, which we can totally make that a thing, right? Like, editor, throw that on screen right now. Yeah, taking a look at the Minecraft, uh, you know, like, YouTube channel, you can see how there are, like, four or five videos which have significantly more views than all the rest of them. You can see how, uh, like, there's a few videos that have more than 10 million views. Uh, there's a lot of them there, but then there are some videos that go way above this, including the Minecraft Pocket Edition trailer, the Minecraft Pocket Edition trailer 2015, the Better Together update, which has two separate videos, which are kind of the same thing, and then we have official Minecraft trailer, and this is the one that, you know, was my first trailer. It came out the same time as the, you know, like, uh, Take a Seat and Excrete trailer, but also, uh, it was significantly uh, better put together by a guy called Veridu, who doesn't really exist anymore. But let's check out this trailer, because man, I, I feel some things when I watch this. Let's go to a place where everything is made of blocks. Where the only limit is your imagination. Let's go wherever you want to go. This guy Friends sounds really Irish, mountains. by the way. Venture down to the darkest caves. Build anything you want. Tell me this isn't capturing that first, like, that first time you played Minecraft. Like, everything, like, even this house right here, looking up at the sky, being like, man, you've got to, like, it captures that feeling so well. Day or night, rain or shine, because this is the most significant sandbox you'll ever set foot in. It's true. He said, you know, this this narration was done all those years ago, in 2011, eight, like, under just under eight years ago now, but it's true to this day. Minecraft is the biggest sandbox you'll ever set foot in. Build a majestic castle. Invent a new machine. Or take a ride on a roller coaster. Play with friends. Build your own little community. Protect yourself with the strongest armor that you can I mean, grab. Not really the strongest Fight armor. Not really the strongest armor in the game, is it? I mean... You know, yeah, I'll let him off for that one. Off the dangers of the night. No one can tell you what you can or cannot do. That's right, guys. Did you hear that? In the official trailer, can we can we play that again? No one can tell you what you can or cannot do. I would like every one of those YouTube comments saying, Toy Cat, why did you build this? This is a monstrosity. This is a crime against humanity. Why did you make a house out of these blocks, Toy Cat? I would like you all to very briefly apologize. This is, no one can tell me what I can and cannot do. I can make a house with, uh, you know, like coral and end stone and stained glass and bricks together if I want to. Thank you very much, friends. If I want to, you know what? I'm gonna make myself an ocelot mixed of a horse. Because you know what? No one can tell me what I can and cannot do. 
because it's an endless sandbox. A sandbox with limitless possibilities with bees. Look, not just one type of bee, two types of bees. I made a type, I, I made a bee, which I mean, I like the bee, some people don't. I made a bee, and then I made another bee, because that's, <laughs> but, and both bees are equally valid. You might not, you might not like this bee as much as you like this bee. I mean, like, or is, is, it, is it legs? Is it his cute expression? I'm not sure why you, why some people like some of these things and not the others, but no one can tell me what I can and cannot do. Do you see this? No one can tell you what you can or cannot do. You see my Nintendo Switch? No one can tell you what you can or cannot do. Do you see my attempt at accurately building a car in Minecraft, but from memory rather than looking at a picture? No one can tell you what you can or cannot do. I, I, want, I want to defend this and say this is like creativity, but like, I don't think it is. There's no rules to follow. This adventure, it's up to you. Sorry, did you hear what he said there? There's no rules to follow. This adventure, it's up to you. No rules to follow. The adventure's up to me. Which is why I'm pleased to announce that upcoming on the channel will be a Minecraft playthrough. It's gonna be called, Can You Beat Minecraft Without Playing Minecraft? You know, you might think, no, that's against the rules, isn't it? No rules to follow. There are no rules. No one can tell me what I can and cannot do. That is a real thing that I'll be totally doing on this channel in the near future. But no, uh, for real, this trailer gives me so much nostalgia, just looking through it, like all the beautiful shots just showing off, like here are just some biomes, here are just some things you can go through and explore. When you find these things for the first time, every single one of them, whether it's the ravine, whether it's, uh, you know, building a little house, they feel good making your own little garden when rain comes for the first time. And I feel like this trailer truly captures that essence. I feel like it deserves the 139 million views it gets because it's, it's an emotional little trailer. And apparently this one's been recommended to people as well because it's like nobody. YouTube recommendations want to cry for no reason. Uh, do you want to put this video in people's recommended? YouTube, yes. Uh, where the only limit is your imagination. Height limit, 256 blocks. Uh, anyone getting this recommended, take it as a sign. The 2019 comeback in Minecraft. It's really interesting for me to see because I've been with Minecraft the entire way, whether it's been up or down. I'm not one of those YouTubers who's like, I want to follow just the game that's going to make me the most money at any given point in time. I, I love, uh, you know, seeing this up and down in Minecraft. I love seeing the community evolve over that time. Like, you know, a lot of YouTubers who just started doing Minecraft because they wanted the payday, they've switched over to games like Fortnite, everything like that. And now the community is so much more passionate. The people who are there want to be there. And it's something I love seeing on this channel and in the wider world. And it's something that if you watch this video, you might just be a part of. And if you are, thank you very much. Uh, entirely unrelatedly, but I just spotted it. Have you noticed how my tr the Triforce on this shirt? It's not, yeah, it's yellow, not green, but it's see-through. So you can see Minecraft through the Triforce. If that's not a sign of something wonderful happening, I don't know what is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can like it if you did. You can share if you liked it. I don't do trailer reactions generally, but I hope this one was some fun. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.